There was a time, um, I guess around season five, we, we, we knew it was going to be one more year after that. And then it was, I think it was, it was the sixth season, that, but then got broken up into two parts. So, I mean, I, I think I had kind of uh, a little bit of advance notice. I knew there were, there were moments between, at the end, we thought season five was going to be the end. And for me, selfishly, um, I was just at the point where I was able to sign, uh, on the verge of signing a big deal with HBO. After paying my dues for all those years, I was going to be on a sort of a development deal that would put, you know, I'd have my services on The Sopranos and also money to develop new series for them. And it was, it was going to happen right at the end of season five. And of course, David comes in and says, I'm done. I don't, I don't know what else to do. I'm, I'm ending the show. And I saw my development deal go out the window. And uh, David said, I'm going to have a meeting on a Sunday afternoon, and we'll, we'll talk about it, but I'm, 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 uh, I'm ending the show at the end of season five. So it was me, David, Robin Green, and Mitch Burgess, uh, maybe Matt. I'm not sure if Matt was there or not. Um, and we met on a Sunday, and I remember I, I brought bagels, and we locked ourselves in the writer's room and started debating the future of the show. And David was done, and I, I just went on one of my classic filibusters and talked about what it could be and maybe what about this, what about this, and he wasn't responding to anything. And I, I'm sweating. I thought, I, I, I'm not letting him out of this room until he agrees to continue. <laughs> and I finally hit on something. I said, you know, David, look, I said, you, I think part of the thing is you're really exhausted. I think, I think you need a long break, first of all. Second of all, if we come back after an extended break, we could be anywhere. We could be two years into the future. Meadow could be out of high school. He goes, that's interesting. I said, she could be already be in college. She could be married. She could have a kid. Janice could have a kid. AJ, who knows? Could be. They can all be in different places. And suddenly I saw the, the light go on in his eyes. He went, that's interesting. Goes, now I'm interested. He goes, yeah, this could be anything. And I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, no, I just keep, kept hitting him. And, and, and by the end of it, he's like, okay, great. And the next day he called HBO and said, okay, I want to do one more season. And I was like, whew, great. We can, you know, not only am I employed for another year, I get my deal and I can maybe develop my own show for HBO and, uh, We'll, we'll wrap this up in the, in the way that I felt the sh show should be wrapped up. Somewhere dur during season five, I think he, he pitched Matt and I the ending. And uh, I, we both thought it was great. I thought it was really terrific. And, and like I said, I, one of the variations on that, as I, as I remember, was Tony getting shot and the thing go screen going to black. But then he pitches on it just ends abruptly in mid mid sense and we thought wow that's that's really great and ballsy and and then we didn't talk about it for a really long time and then of course he did it and then somewhere in season six he said I can't I, I, I heard can't don't stop believing on the radio I can't get it out of my head I because I think I think that's something I don't know I just keep coming back to that and then of course that's uh, that was the, the last song what do you think that means I don't know it's it's it's, it's, a, it's sort of a hopeful ending on a hopeful note in, in some way, I mean, which is uncharacteristic uh, for the show and for David, but uh, it just sort of, um, I don't know, it just feels, feels a little hopeful. I don't, I don't know. Did he ever tell you what he thought the ending meant? No, not really. I mean, he just—it just—it is—it is what it is. It just speaks for itself. I, you know, for me, I always said um, it, what I take away from it is that it, when you're Tony Soprano. Even you know, going out for ice cream with your family is fraught with looking over your shoulder and who's that guy and who's that. This, this is the this is his legacy of just constant. One day somebody's going to walk out of a bathroom somewhere and put a bullet in your head, and and it might have been that night, it might not be that night, but this is his own personal hell that he lives with, and who knows? It could have been then, or maybe not. That's really sort of it. David doesn't like to talk about it. I think isn't interested in talking about it.